there are many, many socio-economic, geographic, whatever reasons for the civil war, causes, I should say, of the civil war. There's only one reason, and that reason is the firing on Fort Sumter. Once the South decided that they were going to take federal property for their own, that was the match. So while there were many causes, there's only, uh, there's only one reason. The historical society began back in 1824, and when the Civil War broke out, really not too long after the war broke out, the Historical Society of Pennsylvania got interested in collecting Civil War memorabilia. They were ahead of the times, knew that it was going to be important someday. So especially after the Battle of Gettysburg in 63, 1863, they uh, consciously began to collect material. There is, of course, diaries of many Civil War soldiers not just Union, primarily Union, of course, in Pennsylvania, but we also have diaries for other uh, areas geographically, as well as for Confederate soldiers and letter collections as well. And then we also have a lot of lithographs, watercolors, prints, um, photographs, maps. <laughs> I mean, you name it, it just covers basically every genre. The one thing that's kind of interesting, Frank Bennett was in the 55th uh, Pennsylvania Infantry. He was a colonel and he was incarcerated in a number of southern prisons. As in his diary, he is very complimentary basically towards his captors. But what's interesting about his diary is he didn't have any paper, so he's writing in a book called The Lotus, Lotus Eating that was published in 1852. That was his diary. He just ripped the rope between the lines in ink or in pencil and much of it is, is so faded you can't even read it anymore. But enough of it's there so you can get a feel for the, you know, the type of individual he was and his ideological persuasions and you know, that type of thing. The diaries tell the personal stories, the things that, that the soldiers experienced. Uh, it's not a second-hand account. It's a first-hand account. Uh, it tells of their bravery, their, their, their noble actions during the war. And this is something that, that, that you can't replace in terms of uh, another historian summarizing the document. Um, I think the, the Civil War holds a special place in American history. There's so much uh, passion about it. Uh, I, I've thought about this a lot. Uh, I think it's probably because uh, the media has something to do with, with, with it and books, all the books that have been written, Lincoln and Lincoln's role, and the fact that it was a civil war, that is a citizen against citizen, brother against brother, family against family, and that the other thing is that, that there are people alive today that knew Civil War veterans. It's still alive in many sen uh, in, in, in a sense, in, in that uh, it, 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 time and proximity, there's still a connection, a direct connection. In many ways, it's important to understand what happened so that we can deal with the problems today. As someone far more learned than I once said, you cannot understand the history of this country from the founding until today unless you understand the Civil War. It is the crux of who we are and what we are today.